G'day guys, I found an old racing cart that was being dumped so I grabbed it. Missing a motor but it shouldn't be that hard to rig one up, it's got all the parts there, the chains, sprocket and the centrifugal clutch. This axle goes in here like that. It does have the rotors but there's no brake calipers or master cylinder or anything so I'm gonna have to and I'm trying to find one of those. So all the tyres look pretty good though. They're flat but they seem to have a bit of life left in them. All the steering and everything works. And the seat needs a bit of work. It's, uh, it's just a, like a fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass seat but the padding's been ripped out of it for some reason. I do actually have an old four-stroke motor out of a generator that I've had sitting around for years so I think I can just mount that in here somewhere. Oh look at that. Okay so it's gonna have to go that way around. Oh beautiful. That clutch fits on there nicely. Perfect. Just have to weld a little mounting frame across there, possibly that way, and then it's on there. Oh, perfect! Look at that. I might be able to extend that throttle cable and link it up to there somehow. Possibly, if I could have it there, we'll see how we go. First things first, I'll figure out where that motor needs to go and um, make a mounting for it. A wee bit of oil on there just to make it easier to get off next time. So I've just got to weld a couple of bars across there that the motor can sit on. I've got this piece of uh, C-section type steel. I think that'll do the job. You can just um, weld that down there, cut a couple of lengths out of that, and then I can bring make the holes sort of a wee bit longer, so that will allow for a wee bit of adjustment back and forth for the chain. doesn't want to come off so I'm gonna to have to sand that rust off there I think it's just not slipping over there very easily So that's about where the sprocket will go. Um, as you can see, it's going to be hitting that bar, so I'll have to cut that out just to give it a bit of clearance and also trim this one off because the chain will be going about there because uh, I need to drop the shaft down. Looks like I'll have to take a few links out of that. That chain's just a wee bit long. And I want the motor as far forward as I can really, so it's not sort of hanging over the back too much. Because it'll tend to lose traction on the front wheels. So 
I'll try and get that motor as far forward as I can. Alright, so that's where it's going to go. So I just need to weld these bars on here, drill some holes in them, and then bolt that motor down. That chain is going to slacken up a wee bit with the, the rust on the sprocket, so I'm going to try and set it as tight as I can, and that'll loosen with youth. It's a bit sketchy at the moment with no brakes and um, I'm having to pull the throttle manually back here so uh, next job is to sort that throttle cable out and we'll have to pull this in and then because this is a, um, a set a hand set throttle it's quite stiff so I'll have to sort of loosen that up so it moves freely and then put a cable in there there is a cable clamp and attach it to this piece and that can be the throttle. But I have to put a spring on this so that it pulls pulls that back when um, when you release the throttle. So I first of all loosen that up a bit, maybe undo that nut, and put a bit of oil on there, get that moving freely. Put a spring on this piece, and then route a cable in there. Right, let's loosen that a wee bit. That's nice and loose now. Yep, that'll do it, I think. Perfect. Always keep springs, Toby. Always keep the springs spare. You never know when you'll need them. Yep. That'll do it. Pretty good, I think. Not in the way of anything there. It's good to have a few parts bikes lying around for this sort of thing. I think that cable will probably do it. That's the other end. Yep, that'll do it.
that'll work. Right, that's the accelerator sorted. Better test it out. So now I'll try and sort those brakes out. I did have a look online for brake calipers that would suit this vented rotor, but um, they're quite expensive, they're like $600 from what I can see. So um, what I might do is just skim it down so it's only single disc, and then um, just get an, an old motorbike um, caliper or something and clamp it there somehow. So this is the old motorbike front brakes I've got, so I should be able to hopefully adapt those somehow. and. Um, yeah, mount them on there so they still work. Got to try and figure out how to mount this brake lever. I'll probably just go up the front here and possibly mount it somewhere there, like that. And then when you push the brake on, it just activates the, uh, the lever there. That, that will probably work, I think. If I can route that so it's not in the way. working perfectly so now I just have to mount the handle up the front somewhere going really well it's actually surprisingly quick off the mark as well for a little six and a half horse motor and I didn't actually have to buy any parts I had them all lying around here so uh, it was a pretty cheap fix really I could have gone all out and bought the proper brake calipers and everything but I uh, probably would have been spending six to eight hundred dollars so um, this this way you know I've just used a few bits and pieces I had lying around and I've got a perfectly usable little cart. So I'll leave it there for now and um, next time we'll, we'll take it to the, uh, the old abandoned highway and give it a good blast. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.